Hello everyone, this is Ami Diamond from SharePoint Wizard. Let me show you um, a new feature or new agents that are rolling out to the Copilot chat. So uh, once everything is activated, you will see a group here or a menu uh, that is called uh, Frontier, which is actually the program where all of the um, agents that are in development by Microsoft uh, in test. Um, so after I activated, actually I see here three. One is Opal, which I won't cover, and the rest are PowerPoint Frontier, Excel, and Word. We will demonstrate uh, the Word Frontier, um, but before, before we start, actually I want to show you what settings are needed. So in order to to activate it, we need to go to the admin center. This is, by the way, the new app. And we will go to admin. And in admin, we will actually go to Copilot. And actually, it's divided by the old previous uh, Copilot. And we also have a section for agents. Uh, but if we go to the settings with, within Copilot, first of all, we need to go to the Copilot frontier and to um, add, check that we're in the uh, program. In this case, I set all users. Second thing we need to do, and uh, I don't know if all organizations will allow that, is actually under data access, we have AI providers uh, for other language models. This actually means that we are allowing um, um, models like Claude to be uh, used. Uh, it's very important to, to say that uh, Microsoft is not responsible for that. That means that if the models are trained uh, there, then the organization needs to decide what to do. So in this case, I will just uh, disable it. Uh, this is how you see it when it's uh, not activated. So it gives uh, information about anthropics and that uh, the risk. And in this case, because it's a demo site uh, tenant, I can activate it. As you can see now, it's allowed for organization. And if I refresh, it should also show that it's allowed. Now with these two settings, now we can start and we will go to the Copilot ch chat. So under Frontier, I will choose um, this um, this agent. By the way, I can also um, just choose under the tools. You see I have the researcher, the analyst, the Word, Excel, and PowerPoint, designer, and others. So I will choose it uh, from here. The idea is that you can ask uh, to create a Word document uh, without being in Word. Afterwards, you will be able to, um, to open it in Word. Here in the source, we can choose if to take a web source, search, or only Microsoft Data 365. In this case, I will leave it as, as it is. I will put this from brighter post. Uh, talk about AI and formulas. It's something I prepared, the idea and I will also reference to the Word document I created. The idea is um, when do you use AI or when do you use formulas in Excel or in the SharePoint uh, knowledge agent? So with that, I can actually start running it. Um, it might take uh, quite a time. Uh, from my experience, it took to two to three minutes, even more. So in this case, I will just uh, let it run and I will get back to you once it's uh, ready. I actually has already um, prepared something like that. So I will go and show you how it looks. Uh, we can go back if you want later on. So this is how uh, it looks after I have, um, uh, written, what it will do is it will ask me some questions about uh, what primary purpose of, of the post is. 
and also uh, what is the targeted uh, audience. Now here I can choose between some layouts in case uh, it will present some um, graphs. And all I can do is just start. I can now, it's like vibe um, coding that you can actually ask what you want and you can adjust it. Now it will also give you the research resources. As you can see, this is how it looks. So uh, there's a starting page. Then there's some text with some graphs, which are quite interesting. Uh, and then at the end, it gives a reference to um, where are the sources. Now, if I'm OK, then what, what I can do is actually to click on Open in Word. It will open the Word. And if I'm not happy, for instance, this graph doesn't look OK, I can actually open it in the desktop, and it should show me it uh, better. Um, so this is how it is. Um, yeah, I, I saved you the time of uh, waiting until it's there. It takes time, tells you to wait and make some coffee, but uh, it's actually doing a good job. Um, now, what happens is that this actually stores it in in your OneDrive. So if we go here, we could see that actually it creates a folder, which is called Copilot Generated Documents within my uh, files. And this is where it stores it. So this is uh, important to know. Um, in next episode, I'll show you actually um, how to create a presentation. Thank you very much and goodbye.